Hi guys, this is Lori, and you're watching Mermaid and Jedi Adventures, and today, we're crafting. Today in Mermaid and Jedi Adventures, we're going to be doing a no-sew bow. So this is an example of a no-sew bow. Uh, basically what that means is exactly what it sounds. There's no sewing involved. You can certainly make bows by sewing, but this is just using a hot glue gun uh, to achieve a cute little bow. So this one here is a double bow, so it's basically two bows on top of each other. Uh, today we're just going to be doing a single bow, but you can certainly sort of double up with a slightly smaller and then slightly larger bow if you like this idea. So this comes from many different places. I'm sure you can find different examples of this on Pinterest and maybe other tutorials as well, but this is one I've been doing for years and years, just at some, I think, I think maybe even a junior high sewing teacher might have shown me how to do this, but um, it's just a quick and easy way to make a bow. Now you can make a bow. Um, this one here, for example, has a clip on it, so this is a hair bow, um, but these bows are great because they're multi-purpose. You can make a larger version and put it on a Minnie Mouse ears or two smaller version and uh, put it on either side on each ear. Um, if you want to jazz up your Minnie Mouse headbands, you can add these two hats. You can put them on, for example, um, like a soft headband. This is just like a lace headband that I have, but you could put this on a headband. Um, a smaller material headband would be great for little kids, toddlers, or babies that have very little hair, etc. Um, also adding this uh, on a bobby pin or a safety pin and then adding it to a dog or cat collar is a great little way to jazz that up as well. Another way um, to use this is to add another piece of material and just sort of um, glue it here uh, and then put a piece of uh, double-sided um, velcro there we go um, on it and then you can make like a little uh, child's um, or an adult's I suppose if uh, an adult is not great at um, making bow ties or wants a really jazzy bow tie um, if you have a special occasion or something uh, you can make this into a bow tie. So today we're going to be uh, probably using this, I think this top material here is what I kind of had decided on. You can use all sort of different types of fabric. This is a great project because you can literally use an old shirt, an old piece of material, um, anything you have laying around. You can go to the dollar store, a craft store, just pick up a fat quarter or just a small piece of fabric. Um, if you're trimming something, you can use trimmings. It all kind of depends on what size of bow you're using. So this here is like an acrinoline type material. This is great for bows, um, for hair bows in particular. Um, it is a little, like obviously see-through, so you can use this material. You can glue this material. Please be very careful. I have definitely burned my finger once or twice. Um, but the key with a thin material like this is to sort of like double or triple it up just to like reinforce it so that there's more of a like color saturation and it's not completely see-through. Um, another idea you could use, this is like a flannelette. Um, I sometimes do baby quilting, so I do have a lot of this cute, sort of cute material around. This is great. It's not quite as stiff. Um, it will make a bow, uh, uh, very easily make a bow. Um, it won't be as stiff as like a standard kind of cotton sewing material, but it's much softer. So if you're making a little headband or, or a little um, clip-on for a baby or a toddler, you know, this is probably perfect. So today I think we're going to use this material here. It's just a standard... Um, like cotton type material. Uh, I want to say I either got this at Walmart or Joann's Fabrics um, many years ago. So just keep an eye out for whatever fabric that you want to use. Um, this is great. Like use it, make a theme. So you can have a Disney theme, you know, you can get use your Christmas material or Halloween material, basically anything you like. It's a very cheap way to sort of add some flair or some holiday cheer um, to whatever uh, outfit that you're wearing. Uh, so this is a good outfit. When I looked at this initially, I thought to myself, this kind of looks like um, Minnie Mouse on the 4th of July. <laughs> so then thinking that, um, what we're going to need is when we make our bow is a piece of material and then you're going to need a small... Um, either a piece of material or a ribbon to kind of go around the center. So you can see here, there's like the small piece of material here. So what I thought we would do to kind of jazz it up a bit is I found some yellow ribbon. So that kind of ties into the Minnie Mouse theme. So I thought that would be quite cute to make a ribbon like this, uh, sorry, a bow with this ribbon here. 
So I'm going to get into the cutting and everything and I'll cut a piece of fabric. Um, this is all very dependent on what size of bow that you want. Uh, depending on you know how small of a child this is for, if this is for an adult, do you want a large bow, a small bow, that kind of thing. Just play around with your fabric. Um, what you're going to want to do is basically whatever length of fabric that you cut is going to be fold in half this way and then also in half this way. So you're going to want to sort of like double up uh, what you're looking at. So when you finally have your bow like less an inch, it's going to be that wide. And then when you um, make it, it's going to be like a half of the height that you cut it. So just sort of take a look at that. Um, a really good length to start with is basically um, about five inches by nine inches. That gives you five inches with an overlap of an inch, so it'll be four inches on either side, so about two inches, and then <coughs> oh, pardon me, and then uh, nine inches across. So that'll give you a nice long bow once you've doubled it up. Okay, so I'm going to get cutting and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Like I say, it's about a 5 inch by 9 inch piece. I cut a little piece of ribbon out. I'm just guesstimating at this point. You can always wait and see um, and kind of bunch it up with your fingers to sort of see how big the bow is going to be. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so you're going to want to take your piece of material And you're going to want to fold it in. About a little bit, about half ways or so. And then fold in the other side. So, and then you're going to want to glue right in here with your glue gun a strip to close this fabric. Okay, so now your piece of fabric should look like this. And now the next thing we're going to do is to fold it in this way. glue it this way and try and keep it so that uh, this little seam is kind of in the middle because you're going to be covering this up with your uh, little yellow piece of ribbon there. So glue that. Okay so now you should have a piece of material that looks like that. I apologize for the uh, stops and starts guys. I am one handing this. My cameraman is at work right now. <laughs> he was working today so I'm doing this and uh, trying to film at the same time. So this is what it should look like. So you have this all glued together. Ta -da! Uh, and then the next step you want to do is to make your little folds. So it's kind of like whatever you choose to do, um, however you want to do this to sort of like make your little folds in here. Um, I kind of just sort of pinch it and sort of fold this over here and sort of pinch this like so and fold this over here and then so on the other side it kind of looks like that so once you have your um, little yellow piece of material there you can see it's going to look very much like a bow so I will just pinch this and then just put two little beads of glue in the folds and then we will put the little yellow ribbon on top of it so as I was putting it together I decided I wanted sort of the unfinished bits back so this is the back of it. So I have those the little flap on the bottom and the little flap on the top glued with the fold in the middle, pitching it together so that when you have the finished part, I'll flip off the bow obviously, but you won't see the, um, the unfinished parts. They'll sort of be pointing towards the back of the bow. Don't worry, that side that looks a little mashed is fine. I'm just pinching it right now. Okay. So now I will get the little yellow piece of ribbon in place. So now I've just added this yellow ribbon here. So this is sort of the rough side or the, um, the back side of the bow. So I'm gluing this yellow ribbon. I've got some hot glue right here to this side here. And then I will just simply take this, fold it over, just sort of cut it to length, and then hot glue this piece down as well. And then I will show you how to add the uh, little bobby pin. Okay guys, so this is our almost finished product. 
Um, I would say that this ribbon, it, though this looks really cute, I'll just zoom in on it here. So this is a little hair bow. That's sort of the unfinished part, which still looks fine. And this is the finished part that you'll see. This ribbon is a little bit too wide for the length of the bow. Um, I think the bow size is fine. Um, this is a 7th, 8th of an inch, so almost a full inch width um, of bow. So for this size, I would say even maybe half of that or three quarters would be much better. Then you just get a little bit more bow or just extend your material so maybe instead of doing um, you know the nine inches do like 12 inches just to give yourself a little bit more bow on either side so the last thing to do for this is to just um, whatever kind of bow if you're using this for a brett or you're going to use a headband you know just to glue the back side to it uh, we had decided well we meaning me <laughs> to use a uh, bobby pin so all we need for this now is just basically a little bit of glue a little little line of glue right along the back here I was err on the side of caution and put a little extra glue on there got my bobby pin and just sort of press that right into the glue and then hold it there for a bit there we go oh my goodness I have very dry hands right now I apologize for that okay so this obviously will need a few more seconds to dry. I wouldn't put this in your hair right away, uh, you know, maybe overnight or a couple of hours at least. But that's sort of the back of it. And then that is the front. So that is a little bow. There might be a few pieces of, like I can see one right there, <laughs> of hot glue that just need to be pulled off. But I mean, all in all, for basically either free or, you know, for the amount of the size of the material and depending on how cheap it is, you know, it's maybe about a buck or so to make this little bow. So you can make all kinds. I love uh, wearing Minnie Mouse ears to headbands to the parks, different things. Sometimes they're a little bit heavy or, you know, you want to show some flair but not put on a full um, set of Mickey Mouse ears. Um, also, these would be great, too, if you just want to, close to Halloween, use some Halloween material, give yourself some spiderweb bows, um, or a little bow tie, I think, would be really cute as well. I think this would be really cute additions to a lot of things. Um, you could even, like, put this on, like, glue this onto a little, like, cushion, like a little pillow or um, put this on like a little uh, bag or something that you're making. So this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this little crafting um, uh, idea here with me. Um, it's not our usual, but I, every so often I like to do a DIY um, Disney craft. So again, this is a, a Disney craft or any sort of occasion that you would like. So until we talk to you next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you did. We put out new videos every Friday. Until we talk to you next time, take care.